went a blade in races, was on the 9th of June, 1862, on a summer's afternoon. I took the bus to Bamberg's and she was heavy laden. The way we went along, calling the street that's on the road to Bladen. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Toon Army TV. This is the FA Cup third round match preview between Arsenal and Newcastle United. It's down at the Emirates Stadium. A half five kickoff live on BBC One. If I could be kind enough to ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you're a first time viewer. I'm trying to get to 3,500 subscribers. I'm trying to push the channel as much as possible in 2021 your support recently has been absolutely fantastic i think we've gained something like 20 subscribers in the past week uh, the most that the channel has ever gained in such a long time and that's understandable with what's going on and not being able to do uh, the content that i enjoy like going to the games and vlogging and being amongst the fan base but things will get better uh, light will be at the end of the tunnel and of course if you're struggling with lockdown make sure that you're doing uh, all of the right things by talking, maybe going out for uh, some sort of exercise. I want to try and uh, get the channel to where it should be. And without your support, uh, that's not possible. So hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video from yourself. And also hit that thumbs up on the video so uh, more people find out about this channel and all of the videos that I do release. And get interactive down below in the comment section as well. That's vitally important for your opinion and I will reply to all of your responses. So going into this FA Cup third round tie on Saturday evening from a Newcastle fan's point of view, safe to say I couldn't be any more less interested for this game. Normally I'm quite upbeat for FA Cup games, but there's just no motivation when you've got Steve Bruce as your manager. And if you look at the current form, it's just getting worse and worse by the week. We've got injuries, we've got players suffering with COVID, Steve Bruce coming out with his excuses, the remit of just staying in the Premier League. Fans are against him, rightly so, because he's one of the worst managers that I've seen at Newcastle. You could put him up there, along the likes of Joe Kinnear and Steve McLaren, just to name a few. I just can't wait for this season to end, if I'm being brutally honest. And we couldn't have been given a tougher third-round tie against Arsenal. We haven't won there since 2010, and that's when Andy Carroll... Uh, scored that winner. Any other time that we've played them in the Premier League, we've always come unstuck and it's been a heavy defeat. Arsenal are the FA Cup winners of last season, so they are the um, holders of the trophy. 14 times winners, no club has come close to that. And I expect Arsenal to go on a similar run uh, this season. I think they will beat us. That is the sad reality. And it doesn't matter how Steve Bruce goes about the game. I'd rather him just play some fringe players. Give players a chance that wouldn't normally play games in the Premier League to you know up their fitness or some of them who are playing you know for moves elsewhere because that, that would be the right thing to do. I just don't think we've got enough about us to be winning this game on Saturday. I hope I'm wrong. There's just nothing about us at this moment in time. For me, the biggest game of our season is next week against Sheffield United at Bramall Lane. That is the make or break for our season. And that for me, if we don't beat Sheffield United in a week's time, I just don't know how Steve Bruce keeps his job. I don't think he'll get judged on the FA Cup game this weekend because, listen, it's Arsenal and it's not going to be easy because we know how to play. Arsenal have you know, turned a corner in recent weeks. Uh, the last result was a 4-0 win against West Bromwich Albion. They could have won by more, but previously they've just been pulling out results out of the bag. And yes, they haven't pulled up any trees this season. And where they are right now in 11th place... Well, there was talk that Arsenal will get relegated. Well, they're a big club. That won't happen. You'll be saying in the comments section, well, Sharky, they are a big club, but big clubs can't be relegated. Just look at Newcastle, look at Forest, look at Sheffield Wednesday. Granted, you do have a point. However, it's Arsenal. They are decent. Uh, at the best of times, they can pick up some good results like they have done, and they will find a way out of it. And, you know, the talk of Arteta out. Arteta, for me, is a good manager. He just needs a bit more time to get the best out of the players that he's got. The board at Arsenal need to back them. That's my personal opinion. They've got a decent side there and they are bringing some youngsters through. I just believe they need to gel and uh, understand how Arteta wants them to play. You know, Arteta won them the FA Cup against the odds when the likes of Man City and Chelsea were favourites. I believe for that he deserves a bit more of 
leeway of the fans. They need to just get behind him and see what happens. In terms of Steve Bruce, he deserves absolutely no more time. He's finished at this football club as far as I'm concerned. He's just blew any sort of reputation that he had. The fans are well and truly just kind of be arsed with him anymore. The, you know, with the whole excuses of this, that and the other, the remit. We can't compete against Brentford in you know, the quarterfinals of the League Cup. What makes you think we're going to compete with Arsenal, who are 10 times better than Brentford, in my personal opinion? It tells you everything uh, that you need to know. In terms of uh, the game, as mentioned for Newcastle, I mentioned uh, fringe players. Now, I would play maybe a 4-4-2, or you could go for a 4-2-3-1. Steve Bruce should just experiment because... When I say the game's a write-off, it is a write-off. We are not favourites. When I look at how good Arsenal are and I look at how poorly average Newcastle are, you just know that there's going to be one winner. And just give the young lads a chance that don't really get that, that chance maybe you know in uh, the top flight games. And I'm talking, for example, Rodrigo Vilca, who was signed in the summer, but he was more for the under-23s. But when you've watched him in terms of under-23 level, he scored a very good goal in training at St James's Park. Something out of this world. He scored a very good goal in the under-23s. So he knows where the back of the net is. He has been linked uh, with a move to Carlisle United on loan. Now, that would be good for him in terms of his experience of learning the English game. It could be, you know, the perfect uh, destination for him. But for now, give him a run out in the first team. He can't be any worse than the midfield that we have currently at this moment in time. You know, with the likes of Sean Longstaff and Jeff Hendrick not really, you know, pulling up any trees and doing much uh, for you know, our midfield, and he could actually link up quite well with Matty Longstaff, who's got a lot of energy. It's just an option uh, for Saturday. In terms of up front, say what you like about this one, but I wouldn't even start Callum Wilson or Joe Linton for this game. I'd maybe bring them off the bench and then see what happens in the game. I would actually start Andy Cowell and Dwight Gale in a 4-4-2. Personally, I think they both need game time. Both of them look like they're out the door uh, in this window, if not at the end of the season. Andy Carroll looks like he's going to West Brom. Dwight Gale, I don't think he'll get a new contract, but that's not to say that Dwight Gale isn't a bad player. I just don't think he's a Premier League player. He's got a lot of um, you know, pace. He's got a lot of you know, attributes that he brings to the side that maybe Joe Linton doesn't. I think Callum Wilson needs that break. Joe Linton just doesn't offer too much to the side in terms of uh, his ability to get around the pitch. Uh, he's just... Joe Linton's that player who will score one goal every maybe 10 or 15 games. Dwight Gale might just pop up with one like he did against West Brom. And with that pace, we're going to need it against Arsenal, who, yes, OK, they've turned a corner, but they do uh, leak in goals, so it, it might work in our favour. And then maybe change it around in the second half, see where the game is at, as mentioned. So you could look at the defence. What more could you change over the injuries? I think it's difficult, really. You could maybe say Mankio, if he's around. Emil Kraft, Paul Dummett could get a, a rest start as well, you know, after recovering from injury. He did play recently, but uh, has been out for a couple of games, maybe just down to squad rotation. Now, in net, could be interesting. I personally would start to Brevka. I think he needs that game time. He's fully fit now. He's normally our number one keeper, but hasn't really deserved to be back into the side yet over Darla, who's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, Darla can't lose his number one spot, but I would give him a rest against Arsenal. And I would uh, actually say play to Bravka to you know give him uh, that much needed uh, minutes you know under his belt. And could this be his only game uh, this season? Because I just don't think we're going to go beyond Arsenal. But who knows? To Bravka, you know, in this game against Arsenal, could prove uh, that he is still number one, and that he could maybe do the unthinkable and pull off loads of saves to the point where we might actually get a chance. But uh, it's maybe just wishful thinking for Saturday evening. In terms of Arsenal, well, we know what threats they bring, you know, to our side. They're gonna be, you know, a real nightmare on Saturday with the likes of a Bam Young. He knows where the back of the net is, he's got pace, he can just peel off uh, the last defender. So whatever way Steve Bruce goes about it, five at the back, four at the back, I think a Bam Young's gonna be the one to um try and dig Arsenal out of the shit. But also Saka, decent player, you know, who's just come through uh, the academy. He's got a bright future, that lad. He's very positive on and off the ball. Lacazette as well, not the player that they once signed, but still a real threat for Arsenal. He's strong on the ball. He can not only just you know make things happen, but he can um, score goals as well. So it's going to be you know a difficult evening, whatever happens. 
But in terms of a score prediction, I'm going to say 3 1 to Arsenal. Sorry if that's come across as negative, but I'm not expecting too much from the match. I think it'll be a case of we're set up to defend and Arsenal will just pick us off. And it's going to be a case of how do we contain Arsenal? Well, when you've got Steve Bruce as your manager, there is no plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So, yeah, I'm hoping to be positive for the review on Saturday evening, but I guess it will be the polar opposite and it'll just be a case of, oh, well, we're out the FA Cup for another season and a case of it'll be Steve Bruce saying along the lines of, oh, well, we tried, we rolled with sleeves up, we gave it a go. Dairy me, honestly, the quicker this fool gets out of the football club, the better. But, uh, yeah... Nothing's going to change my mind on the score prediction. I think we could nick one, but that's maybe putting it kindly. But I do believe Arsenal will have too much for us on the night. So uh, that's my uh, match preview. See what happens. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 3,500 subscribers. As mentioned, less than 40 away now. So if you could please uh, subscribe, it's free and it would help me to get along to that subscriber mark. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss any videos from myself. And uh, make sure you put your comments down below for your score predictions on the FA Cup. Will Newcastle United get through? Yes or no? Do let me know. Anyway, follow me on social media, Toonami TV, Instagram and Twitter. Follow me and I'll follow you back. And make sure you're keeping yourselves safe out there. So until the next video, I'll see you all later. How are the lads? Hey, hey,